This is the Tad Show. Just looking at Finn Balor, cut the promo without audio. You could tell he was, it looked like he was saying something important, which brought me to think it's something I wanted to do this morning that would fit perfectly in a moment, which we call a, um, hmm, what do you call that? A, uh, Boys and girls, it's time to gather around the learning tree with your kind and caring teacher, Taz. He's so mean all the time. He's always so angry. He yells at everyone. What? He's sharing his one-of-a-kind insider perspective of professional wrestling from inside the ring to broadcasting major events. It's all about me. It's me. Me, me, me. Be on your best behavior and make sure to ask lots of questions. Stop it. Shut up. Everybody just shut up. It's the learning tree with Taz. So... If you watch a wrestler's promo, I did this through like my years of ECW while I was trying to become better at promos. No one knew. I never shared this story, okay? It's not the story, this trick. How about that? So, first time you're hearing this, how about that? I'd cut my promo at the ECW arena or whatever building or, you know, at our studio, Ron Buffon's mom's basement in Westchester. Have the towel on my head, all that stuff, cutting the promo, dark lighting. Heyman had it lit really cool. And then once it aired on television, I would videotape it. Now, this this is in the early days, boys and girls, of VHS. I would videotape it, seriously. It wasn't like a digital, as you know, Captain, it was, you did videotape stuff. Yeah, VHS, not the beta. The VHS, right. The big boy. The beta's the little babies, right. Right, the little babies. It's small tapes. Were, no, I thought the betas were older than that, weren't they? No, I don't know. The time that they were born, stop it! You're screwing <laughs> up the learning tree. Stay out of you like sap on a tree. I'm fertilizing you. You're a sap. <laughs> you are a sap sucker. You sap sucking <laughs> son of a bitch! Stop it! I'm going to kick your ass! So, I would videotape the ECW show. Of course, I would FFW through the whole thing until my part came up. Because <laughs> I didn't care about anyone else but me. Me, me, me. I get to my promo, and this is what I would do. I would mute it. I would lower the volume. I would watch my promo. And here's the learning tree thing. For you guys as fans, try this. Take whoever you think is a good promo guy or girl. Do what I used to do. Mute it. I'd watch my promo first with no audio. And I would work on how I could make my eyes and my expressions better. So the audio part, me speaking, was the easy part. Let me translate and connect to the people facially. Well, I had a towel on my head, so you couldn't see all of my face. There were strands of towel in my face. But my eyes were there, my mouth, my nose, my face. And I worked on facial expressions by not listening to the audio and watching and critiquing myself. And I would do this every time the show, my my promo was on a show. And when I was running around the house yesterday and didn't have the audio on the computer, and Finn Bauer was cutting his promo and I could see him but not hear him, and I saw his eyes and how intense he was, it brought me back to, oh, I should do this on purpose. (laughs) That sounds crazy, but think about what I'm saying. You really can feel if the guy is good. Now, there are some guys that aren't good. You can mute them, and you'll see it's horrible that they need the support of their own voice to make the promo right. You watch some of the great promo guys and mute the, mute their promo and watch their faces, and you could see the expression in their eyes, how they look into that lens, that camera lens. And that's why they're great. It's not so much the promo, the vernacular. It's their eyes and their face. And I keep saying the word eyes. Or if your hands are up in a promo and stuff like that. Expressions. It's physical too. It's animation. 